up guys, Auto Fanatic. I'm going to be doing a new tire dressing review today. If you go back on my channel, I did a video on tire dressings. I used my GT350 as an example. These are the three dressings that I've been using for a while. Uh, the Masterson Spray Shine. This is actually a liquid dressing. It works really well. Uh, it gives a pretty moderate shine. Then the Chemical Guys G6 Hyper Coat. It's very similar to the Masterson's, but it's a more satin finish. And Chemical Guys VRP. This seems to be a favorite for a lot of people. Uh, the situation is these are all water-based, and it's been raining every single day in New York, and they just don't last. So I haven't really been doing tire dressing on my car uh, several times a week when I'm doing my maintenance washes. So we're going to use something new today, and this is called Car Pro Pearl. You guys see that there? This is a silicone oxide coat, water-based tire and rubber dressing. This is a super concentrated formula that can be diluted for plastic, rubber, and vinyl trim. So we're going to do a, a quick application on my tires, my Pirelli Corsa tires on my Alfa Romeo Giulia Quadrifoglio today. I'm going to show you a quick, uh, quick little preparation when you're switching tire dressings on something that I strongly recommend that you do. So let's get set up and we're going to get started on this application right now. Alright guys, we're back. So just uh, before we go further with the application of the CarPro Pearl, just want to explain to you a little bit about the preparation. You have to clean the sidewall of your tires every time you switch tire dressings. Now, if you guys have the Auto Fanatic Professional Wheel Cleaning Foam and you guys already know how it works, this is an outstanding tire cleaner as well as a rim cleaner. All you need to do is when you foam up the sidewall, just use a nice stiff nylon tire brush like this and go along the sidewall and this is going to really get those tires deep clean. You're going to see the tire sidewall foam turn deep brown and then you're going to do a final rinse. Now, a couple of hours ago I cleaned my car and we did the foam and the tire clean but we're gonna go a step further and I actually showed this on my channel a few months ago we're gonna be doing a mineral spirits strip and wipe of the tire sidewalls this I feel is probably the best thing to do whenever you're switching tire dressings because the mineral spirits is a solvent and it actually will reactivate the sidewall and give it a proper uniform finish and it will guarantee that it will strip everything any wax silicone dirt and discoloration off your tires in one simple step. I actually mentioned this on my channel, Matt at Obsessed Garage, if you guys watch his channel, he used this technique prepping Adam LZ's brand new Porsche GT3 RS. Uh, if you go watch those series of videos, he actually gave me a shout out and he used the mineral spirits to prep those tires as well. And we're gonna saturate the towel with some odorless mineral spirits, just like I show you there. And we're gonna go over the sidewall of the tire just like that now believe it or not I'm not a huge tire dressing fan sometimes I like to just strip and clean the sidewalls of the tires with the mineral spirits and just leave it as such because it gives it such a nice satin uniform finish and it takes all the browning right out and that's just the look that I personally like so you could see here there's all the junk that's coming off the sidewall. Now these tires were also cleaned a few hours ago and that just shows you that with a solvent based product you're going to get a deeper clean than any of the APCs and tire rubber cleaners that are on the market that are a liquid based where you have to scrub. So that's why I recommend if you're switching water based to water based tire dressings if you're using the ceramic SiO2 based tire dressings and you're going to switch back to something else or you're going from silicone to either or, I strongly recommend that this step not be eliminated. This is probably the most important step is the preparation because prep is key to any coating no matter what you're doing whether it's a wax, a sealant, or ceramic coating. The solvent is starting to evaporate right off the surface and you have a nice satin uniform finish on the sidewall that is 100% perfectly clean. You can see that there, that's everything that came off. And you don't want to use an expensive towel to do this. Just these cheap, I buy the cheap 50 pack microfibers off Amazon and I use it for jobs like this. Now also, if you guys are doing tire stickers or you're gonna paint any of the sidewall logos with uh, tire pens, this is also what I recommend to do prior to you doing that. And I may do a video on that soon on a customer's car. So we're going to just let that evaporate for a couple more minutes and we're going to get set up and then we're going to apply the CarPro Pearl. Alright guys, we're back. So 
I properly stripped and cleaned the sidewalls of the tires with the mineral spirits like I showed you. So now the CarPro Pearl is a dilutable based product that can be cut various different ways. Now for the tire application here, I'm actually going to use it straight out of the bottle. I'm not going to cut it. I just don't want to mess around with that. My main concern is I want to see how durable this is, especially when it rains in a couple more hours. I think we're supposed to get some rain because the VRP and all the other stuff that I've been using, it looks great. But as soon as the water hits it and it rains, it's completely washed off almost immediately. Uh, and that's just even from properly prepping them. They just does stuff that doesn't last. So what we're going to do is I open up the bottle here. I'm going to use one of my small little mixing cups. I'm going to pour some product in there. And let me see how it smells. It's, believe it or not, it smells just like the VRP. It has a milky consistency, a little bit thicker than the Chemical Guys G6 and the Masters in Spray Shine. Now... As far as application goes, you could use a foam applicator. You could do it whatever way you want. I'm actually going to be using my brand new work stuff detail brushes. I'm actually um, going to be doing a video on this soon on my channel. These are the absolute best and most high-end detailing brushes that I found out of Europe. And I imported a whole box of these for myself. And I'm going to show you guys my channel soon. So what we're going to do is we're going to brush the tire dressing, CarPro Pearl, on the tires. I'm going to, I'm going to brush it on thick. And... Then I'm going to wait a couple of minutes, and then I'm going to give it a wipe down. So now the application, depending on how long you wait, how long you wipe it down, how thick you put it on, is going to dictate the gloss intensity and the sheen that you're going to get from this product and pretty much any of these products in this category. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to brush it on the driver's side front tire. I'm going to move on to the driver's side rear tire, and I'm going to kind of go back and forth. All right, so here we go. So we got our little cup. We're going to load up my work stuff. And we're just going to go all along the sidewall. And the brush works well if you really want to get the product and all the little nooks and crannies. And every sidewall is going to be a little bit different. So it's very simple. It's just like painting your sidewall. And the reason why these work stuff detail brushes are absolutely amazing is that they have rigid bristles and that's what you don't really find on a lot of these detail brushes that are on the market uh, the ones that you could get readily today in the US and that's why I bought these and also like I said if you want to go back on my channel you don't want to get the products on the leading edge of your tires especially on a high performance car I call that the danger zone and that's just gonna cause you an issue and possibly get you into an accident if you put too much product in that zone and you're pushing the car hard one day. From brushing this on the tire, that it's starting to level itself out already. It's giving a nice gloss finish. And we're gonna just make sure you go over all the little nooks and crannies. And like I said, being that this is supposedly a silicon oxide based product, theoretically it's supposed to last longer. I don't know. Um, I wanna hear from you guys out there that have used this product before on some feedback and what you guys think. So we're going to just take our brush, we're going to put it to the side. I'm just going to go with another cheap microfiber towel and we're going to get the residue off. And this should give us the final gloss intensity. Go around the bead or the rim in case you get anything on there. And overall, it looks good. It looks similar to the tire dresses that I've been using for a couple of years already. So it's not too glossy, not completely satin. It's like right in the middle. All right, guys, we're all finished with the application of the Car Pro Pearl. It's been about 35 minutes, and let's just go over to the first tire, and you can see that there. So that's going to be the final sheen of the tire. You can see that there. It looks really good. It looks very similar to all the tire dressings that I've been using in the past. But the key is, will this stuff last longer in the rain? Will it give any kind of water repellency properties of the coating? But uh, that's just it. That's a quick video on the... Uh, like I said, please post your comments in this video below on CarPro Pearl. The stuff was pretty expensive. Um, this one bottle here cost me about 30 bucks with shipping. I had to pay shipping on this. And like I said, yes, it is super concentrated. You can dilute it. But overall, I felt that for a 16-ounce bottle, this was... A hell of a lot of money it was about 30 bucks for this bottle so is it worth it is it better than any other stuff that is a third of the price i don't know please post your comments in the video below 
So what's up guys? So this is going to be a follow-up after I prepped and applied the CarPro Pearl. It's been about five days. We've had multiple days of rain. You can see the car here. It's been sitting out for a couple of days and I've been driving it through the rain. So, so far, I got to say this stuff is holding up really damn well. And here's a close-up of the tire. You can see there's some water beating properties and I can still feel the coating on the sidewall. Whereas with the Chemical Guys VR and any other stuff I've been using for a couple of years would just wash off after the first rainstorm. So this stuff is definitely holding up well. I definitely think it's worth the price. I'm going to be donating, giving away the, uh, the other tire dressings that I've been using. I just don't think I'm going to use them anymore. This is going to be my go-to dressing. Uh, like I said, I think the key to using this and having a successful coating is the preparation. So hope you guys get some tips on the prep the way I did it with the mineral spirits. It's going to give you the best preparation of your tires when you're switching tire dressings especially into something like this that is a silicon oxide coat a little bit different than some of the other stuff you've been using so please like subscribe and share stay tuned to the channel for more content and more auto detailing tools and product reviews they're coming soon and i'll see you guys in the next video